Hi everyone, it's Alicia with the Doherty Dozen and today we are putting together Easter baskets for my 11 kids. But first, coffee. We are actually putting together 12 baskets. The kids' god sister, Amelia, you've probably seen her randomly in vlogs. She's here a lot in the summer. So I'm making her a basket as well. You can see them behind me. So right now on TikTok, there's this trend bikini Bikini baskets, I think it's called. So I was like, I'm gonna make their, no, bikini box. I think it's bikini box, whatever. I'm gonna make their Easter baskets a bikini box for the summer. So I got these crates and spray painted them. I'll show you that now. Okay, so I got these 12 crates off of Amazon as like a bulk. Like there was 12 of them that came together. I think they're like the perfect size for their bikini boxes slash Easter baskets. I'm going to spray paint six of them blue and six of them orange. That's why I do not do my hair or anything. Uh, I got this, like, I got these on Amazon too. I don't know. I got this done thing. Uh, we'll see if it like makes a difference at all. snowing. Today is the day. Okay. Oh, and sorry for the noise. The uh, dog groomer comes once a month and grooms the dogs right in our driveway. They are at the doggy spa right now. Option. All right, all right, I think we're good, I think we're good. I'm gonna try and spray into the wind <laughs> so it doesn't backfire on me.
That's good. We got four of them. I bought a six pack of each color because I don't know, it's cheaper by the dozen. That's pretty good. We'll have leftovers for a rainy day. dry and then see if we think it needs another color. All right, we switched out. Bubba just got groomed. I'll show you in a minute. Miracle's going in next. I'm almost done with blue, and then we're going to switch to orange.
Okay. I took two bottles. Let's move on to orange. All right, this is the orange I got. Real orange. Oh, Bob is just watching me from the window, looking how sad. I'm sorry. You can't be out here. You'll get covered in paint.
this count as my workout for today. <laughs> okay. It's just like easily slide on, but yeah.
Okay. Let's let those dry and then we'll see if I think they need another coat of paint or if we're just gonna settle with one coat of paint. I'm hoping for one coat of paint. Let me show you how cute Bubba is. Yes, you look so, no. I know you're excited. Dixie, you're next. Dixie, you're next. Bubba, show him how cute you are. With your little St. Patrick's Day bandana. I decided not to do two coats of paint. Um, I feel like they're fine. I mean, it probably could have used two coats of paint, but it took a long time and a lot of arm muscles. So I just did one coat of paint. They're fine. We're gonna add their names. We're gonna put all of their stuff in it for the summer, like a beach towel, their bathing suit, plus some Easter candy, of course. And then I bought shelves. I'm not gonna put those together today though, but I bought shelves for the deck that they're all gonna go on um, for the summer. So I decided to do one for Amelia as well, since she's here a lot in the summer. We have an in-ground giant swimming pool that the kids spend all summer in every year. So this is going to be perfect for their Easter baskets. Also, I'm doing Easter baskets this weekend because we are spending Easter weekend at a water park. So that's why else this is like the perfect bikini box Easter basket ever. Um, but yeah, I gotta give it to them this weekend so I can get like their bathing suits and stuff packed for the water park next weekend. All right, let's go. So, Zoe requested a blue basket. So I'm gonna start with her. She is our middle child. Um, I'm gonna start with her. So she's blue, which means, cause I'm doing like an alternating pattern age order. If you're new here, that's what I do for absolutely everything. So that means Dash and Bree are orange. Deshaun is blue. Patrick is orange. James is blue. Alex is orange. Okay. Alex, James, Patrick, Bree. No, Deshaun, Bree. Zoe, Dash. Okay, so Jordan is blue. Jason is orange. Bodie is blue. Harley is orange. And then that makes Amelia blue. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, I'm going to put Amelia's down here. All right, so Amelia's mom, who is the kid's aunt Kiki, godmom, um, always does the kid's names on her Cricut. Comic Sans, of course, the best font that exists. So <laughs> we're gonna put their names um, on each of the baskets. First, step one. Okay, so Amelia is first. Well, Amelia has a soft spot in our heart because during the pandemic, like, I don't know about you guys, but we like majorly, majorly, majorly quarantined, like way past the dates that were said. And yeah, um, but Eric Kishton and Amelia were our like one people in our circle. Does that make sense? So anyways, we were home all day, every day because, you know, pandemic and Kirsten was working and Amelia spent every day here. We babysat her during the quarantine. So like we just all absolutely adore her. She's like an extension of the Doherty's. I'm going to get something to scrape that. All right, a VIP Lego card for the win. Don't go stealing my VIP Lego card number. Okay. 
see how this feels. biological kids we were actually just talking about his name this morning because I was I had this realization recently that both Josh my husband has a tree Joshua tree that he is named after or part of his name and Bodhi has a tree also with his name Bodhi tree isn't that kind of cool I didn't realize that until like literally last week shoot the little eye dot came off Anyways, I thought that was cool. Not wanting to stick to this wood very good. Jason is one of our adopted kiddos. He moved in when he was 10 months old. We adopted him in 2018. So he moved in in 2015 and we adopted him in 2018. They were the longest foster care case we ever had and when kids are in foster care at least here um you go to court once a month it was a long three years of going to court once a month but it was worth it Jordan is Jason's twin, older by two minutes. Twins are actually born at 31 weeks. And like, it's a miracle that they are thriving in this world. They were so little. Favorite colors, orange. Well, one of his favorite colors. 
My kids all have like a thousand favorite colors. Where's his name? Uh oh, do I not have a dash? There he is. He was stuck under Alex. Dash is another one of our biological kids. He's named after Dash from The Incredibles, but he is also named after Dash like a race in track because my husband is a track and field coach. And he is also named after the meaning of Dashiel, where it comes from, uh, is from heaven. If you know anything about my infertility journey, you know that these kids are all a gift from heaven. His full name is Dashel, D-A-S-H-E-L, but he goes by Dash. And Zoe. Zoe is another one of our biological kids. Her name means life. Zoe was supposed to be a twin but we lost the twin. And so that's why I always say Dash was like the twin that came back from heaven. He's one of our adopted kiddos. We moved in when she was eight and we adopted her a couple months later. She is now 13. I cannot believe it. It's been five years almost since she moved in. last kiddo to join our family. He moved in in 2022. We were not expecting to add any more kids. And God laughed and said, <laughs> yeah, here you go. Every time we're like, we're done. No more. God laughs at us. I like better. Patrick is Bree's biological brother. A lot of people think they're twins, but they're not. Patrick is 15 and Bree is 13. I actually have another biological sister. We tried to adopt all three, but she was already with, they had split all three of them up for adoptions and we tried to put them together, but she had already been placed with an adoptive family. And then they placed Patrick and Bree with us, but they still get to talk to her. And 
I don't know. Patrick is convinced he has a brother somewhere, but I don't know. Oh, shoot. Because on, like, the birth records, it says that there was four, but we don't know anything about a brother. adopted when he was six. He is now 17. James got approved for a job coach, so he's hoping to have a job this summer. order because I gotta get all the stuff out of the Amazon boxes oh well at least their names will be done okay Alex Alex was our first kid to join the family he was four years old when he moved in and five years old when we adopted him and Alex graduates high school this year and yes he's an adult but that doesn't mean he can't still get an Easter basket baby of the family. She's five and a half. Our last baby, our last biological baby, our last anything baby. Harley is spelled H-A-R-L-E-E -E because my middle name is Lee, L-E-E, -E, which is a family name on my side of the family. A great aunt Letha who went by Lee, and then my aunt Sandy's middle name was Lee. suits and stuff and like get a, a count and make sure we have everything. So we move these for a second. Okay, this is always the fun part, opening all the Amazon boxes, seeing if we have everything for everyone. Right, I actually got these on a TikTok shop. be cute to bring on the trip to the water park. It's these little snack bags.
can't resist the TikTok shop. It's just so cheap, like not cheap quality, just like everything's so inexpensive. These would be a good addition. Usually look like they're Easter baskets. I try to make them more like practical. Um, like their bathing suit, etc. They're Crocs for the year. Every year my kids get new Crocs at the way they go through them. Um, and I thought these would just be a good addition to their, um, if you've ever seen me pack for vacation, all of my kids have a travel bag. And I usually pack snacks for like the plane ride or the car ride. And those snacks have been getting packed in a Ziploc bag. And I don't know, I just thought these would be practical for future trips. Don't think I got Amelia one of these. Some of this stuff I ordered before I was like, oh, I'm gonna make Amelia a bikini box too. You know, like she'll know. She's like, right. And yes, I broke a nail this morning. I gotta get that fixed. I have not gotten to the nail salon yet. Still got my St. Patrick's Day nails. So not out. I'm so not trending. Chocolate Easter bunnies. I got the Russell Stover seven ounce bunnies. So I've got twelve of those.
somebody broke in, so the cat very ate. And ate two of them. Nothing is safe around here. Okay. Um, mini m Over here. Twelve Cadbury eggs. Oh, these were extra anyways. I forgot. I bought some for Josh and I. Love these things. The theme of our bathing suits and towels this year is tie-dye. So I'll show you one of the towels. what they all look like and then it has their name on it and I thought that this was brilliant okay we did personalized bath towels for Christmas so now I'm doing a personalized beach towel pool towel for their birthday and this is perfect because every time the kids swim we tell them to hang their towel up on the fence by the pool so they can like reuse it because it got used for what two seconds right and at the end of the day, we find piles of wet towels everywhere and we're like, whose is this? And they're like, it's not mine. But now we're going to know, we're going to know whose towel it is. I can like fold this how they had it perfectly folded. Almost. Three. James. Zoe. Jordan. Jason. Dish. I probably will wash these before we go to the water park because I feel like towels don't absorb water good until they've been through a load in the wash and dryer. That could be in my mind, but I'm pretty sure it's real. must have come separate. I think I ordered hers after. Alex. James. Patrick Dijon. Zoe Bree. You don't have to do these in rows of four. Alex James. Patrick Dijon. Brie, Zoe, Dash, Jordan, Kylie, Bodie, Jason. Let me see if I can find Amelia.
out beach towels. Oh no, we got beach towels, bathing suits, cover ups, water shoes, Crocs. And yes, I buy them a new pair every year because these things, like, first of all, my kids' feet have grown since last year except for like Alex and James. Um, but second of all, like they wear through them in the summer. They wear them so much. And swim goggles. I buy them swim goggles every year because we go through those like crazy with them getting broken, scratched, lost. They get left at the YMCA a lot actually. We lose them there. shoes came in this. Then I have to try and remember which shoes I ordered for which person. These are a women's. I'm going to guess I got these ones for Brie. And of course they come in like the European size and I have no idea what that correlates to in the USA size. These are a women's. I must have gotten these ones for Zoe. No, no, no. These are, okay, I remember now. These are the twins. Those are the twins, okay. I don't know what size 46, 47 means. Alexa, what is European shoe size 46 in the United States? A size 46 shoe in the European standard is equivalent to a men's size 12.5 or a women's size 13.5 in the American shoe James. standard. James. Thanks, Alexa. So those are James. Those are the twins because I remember that. I remember ordering that. I think these are Patrick. Alexa, what's a European size 42 shoe in the United States? A size 42 shoe in the European standard is equivalent to a men's size 9.5 or a women's size 10.5 in the American shoe standard. I think that was Patrick. I really should start writing this stuff down of what color I voted for what person. But my brain thinks it's going to remember. And then I end up putting this stuff together like a month after I order it and my brain forgets. Yeah. 
Patrick. Possibly Deshaun, but I'm not sure. Those must have been Deshaun because then I got Brie the pink. Brie, and then that means I got these for Zoe. Okay, Zoe and the twins are all in the exact same size shoe right now. So that's why I'm like, which one did I get for which kid? So I got Zoe, Jordan, Jason. So I also got Dash the Sharks, Bodie the Dinosaurs, and Harley the Unicorns. You know, when I was a kid, my mom would always open things with her teeth and it drove me nuts. And now I do the exact same thing. Funny, one day you realize you've turned into your parents. Okay, and then I bought these for myself, and Josh has a pair somewhere in here. Well, I am not going to a water park and walking around there. Very cool. Right, also got them their Crocs for the year. I don't even have to tell you whose these are. How cute are these? You get scissors. Package from the post office got mixed up in this and it was dog toys. So thank you, Samantha Gray, for the dog toys that I just gave to the dogs. And now you're gonna keep hearing squeaky dog toys in the background. Apologize for that. I didn't think that through. Until a squeakerectomy is performed. We're working on cracks. Bodie. Can't remember if I got Spider-Man for Jordan or Zoe, who are both in a Spider-Man phase. Again, I can't remember who I got those for. I start with who I know and then we go by process of elimination. These are men's 11, so they must be Deshaun. Christmas ones I know I got for Patrick. How cool are these? Gosh, these are amazing. Amazon, are those not the coolest thing ever? Patrick and I are both obsessed with Nightmare Before Christmas. I got Brie and Harley. No, wait, these might be mine. These are mine, I think. Yeah, I think I got Harley and me to match. And those might be Brie's. We'll figure it out. These are James, because these are 12. No, 
no way. Those aren't Deshaun's. This might be Josh. These are Josh. Josh always gets black. Those are Deshaun. These are Alex's. Okay. I thought I got Deshaun the pepper one. These are cool too. I like these a lot. How cool are those pepper ones? Okay. These are Alex. He's gonna like those. Alex, James, Patrick, Deshaun. And now I gotta figure out the others. Okay, these would be. Jason, his favorite color is pink. These I got for um, Dash, because Dash and Bodie are little besties, and they can have like matching Mater and Cars Crocs. Bodie will think that's the coolest thing ever. And then, yeah, I got these for Brie. Okay. These cute. Okay, so that means these blue ones are mine to match Harley Quinny. I'm gonna have to move stuff down because we still gotta do their bathing suits and I'm running out of table. We still got bathing suits and goggles. These are Bodies, but I'm not gonna write his name on it yet because I'm not sure. Which oh, that looks tiny. That must be the twins. I will um, pin a comment with the link to all of these. Brie, Deshaun, Patrick. Oh, okay, I gotta add their swim shirts. James. Right, why do I make my kids match in bathing suits? Because we go to really busy places with water and I am neurotic. I have this like all right, I'm super laid back in a lot of areas of parenting. And then I have these pockets of parenting that I'm like insanely neurotic, like water. 
I think something bad is going to happen. Um, like we have a lifeguard that comes here when the kids swim in the summer. I pay her to just sit by the pool because like I'm here and there and doing this and that and dropping a kid off and yeah, because I just, I'm neurotic. Anyways, when we are out in public at like the beach or a water park, I can easily have eyes on all of them. It just simplifies my life. Okay, so I must have gotten Bodhi the size six, which means I got the twins the size 12s. Dash a size. I might have done that wrong. Ah, hold on. This is Harley's. high neck ones because we don't need we don't need that I'm running around chasing kids I don't have time <laughs> for an accident all right and this is Brie because I wasn't sure which one she was gonna like better I'm just gonna set that over there for a second Josh, yes. No. Six. What's this? Amelia's. This is Dash. Okay. This, that's Jason's. Yes. Okay. And I must have gotten this for Harley to put with her bathing suit. Okay. Just thinking out loud to myself. And then Zoe prefers the boy style bathing suit. Got that for her.
Tensión. Well, dang it, messed that up. Turn a P into a Z. Unless I got them two swim shirts each, which I could have done. That seems like something I would do. them two swim shirts apparently. No way that's a boy's. Where are the boys swim shirts? Yeah, that's no way that's a boy's. Well, I look upstairs. Just need the four little boys shirts. Please tell me I didn't order men's shirts thinking they were boys' shirts. Okay. Yeah. I must have ordered, oh well, it's okay. Now I'll just have an extra swim shirt for all of the big boys. I'll order the little boys swim shirts. They'll get here before we go to the water park. 
They just won't be in their Easter basket. It's okay. It's all right. Yeah, just roll with it. Okay, and then I got... Aren't these cute? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I got cover-ups for the girls. This is... <clears throat> This is mine, okay? Oh my gosh, Bree is going to love this. Zoe. I didn't know if she'd want it or not, but I have this thing where like I never want my kids to ever feel left out. So I just got her one. Color up. And Harley. Got this one. Oh, that looks really small. No, I guess it's okay. That's six to seven years. Okay. Last are the swim goggles. And then I got these tie-dye eggs. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these yet. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll put, I don't know, money or something in them. Everybody has a bathing suit. I just gotta remember to order swim shirts for the boys. Everybody has a towel. I gotta see what happened to Amelia's. Kids fight over their swim goggles every year. That's mine. That's mine. They are keeping them in their bikini boxes this year. Yep. We've been using like pool container and they all the goggles are in the pool container but no this year they're going in their bikini boxes anyways these are the goggles i get them every year james is actually the one who discovered this brand and they're awesome like I know I said my kids break things and yeah, it happened, but compared to like other goggles that we've gotten in the past, these last really well. And like, 
you know like a lot of swim goggles with water still gets in they don't with these ones so kudos to james for discovering these goggles two seconds ago. Jason. I should do orange for dash. All right. Jordan. Dash. Zoe. Bree. Deshaun. Patrick. James. Oh, these are cool. They're like a gold. I like those. Who did I forget? Who did I forget? Two, four, six, eight, ten. I didn't forget anyone. Me and Josh. Okay. There we go. That is pretty much everything we're going to put in. I'm just going to think about their. Let's put this all in and see how it looks. And then we might add the um, tie dye eggs if I think it needs like a little something something. We'll see. I'm gonna start with this. Okay, we've got bathing suits, cover-ups, swim goggles, Crocs, swim shoes, swim towels, snack containers, Cadbury eggs, mini M&Ms, Peeps, chocolate Easter bunnies, and ring pops. It's like weird to do all of that, but now that we've done that, I know that we have everything for everyone, and like, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay, we're gonna move this. We're gonna put the crates back up. We're gonna fill the crates. Bada bing, bada boom. Easter basket, bikini box, Easter baskets will be done for 2024. Every year for Easter, my dad would hide our Easter baskets and we he would set up this like elaborate scavenger hunt with all of these rhyming, um, like clues and stuff so we'd have to find our Easter baskets. Yeah, I don't do that. Anyways. 
really cute. Okay, so we're gonna start with their towel. How do we want to do this? Maybe on the back like this. That'd be cute, right? Partly. Jason. Jordan. Nash. Lily. Crazy Dean. Sean, right? Yes. Patrick. James. Alex. Okay, there's the towel. Super cute. Let's do our favorite cute minutes. Sure. <clears throat> Do their Crocs next. How do I have an extra? Oops, I messed it up. Crocs. Jacking on a bone. Name that movie. Mm -hmm. Who knows that movie? If you don't know, Josh and I are like obsessed with um, movie quotes. Like we will randomly break out in movie quotes to challenge the other person. I'm obsessed. These are so stinking cute. Bikini box Easter baskets.
right. Let's put their snack bag. How are we gonna do this? Uh, snack bag. Maybe like that. No. That look good. Yeah. Let me look. Yeah, that looks cute. That is Zoe's personality, by the way. We always give her the black of everything because, yeah. I should do that black swan, white swan trend with Bree and Zoe. Have you seen that? Like the one sister is the white swan and the other sister is the black. The one, not his sister, his brothers are doing it too. Siblings. office calls you gotta answer or you end up playing phone tag for like ever Zoe on a different antibiotic. Eleven of us in the house right now are on antibiotics for strep throat. Um, but Zoe's was making her nauseous. So I'm trying to get her on a different one. We're wondering if she developed an allergy to penicillin because Josh has an allergy to penicillin. Yep, and that's what's been going on.
let's see what these look like. Yeah, I think we'll add some tie-dye eggs. All right. Let me go to the bank and get some monies out. We'll put them in tie-dye eggs and we'll add some eggs to these. Let's go. Thanks to the bank, grab some cash. I think this will be the perfect finishing touch for these Easter baskets. So let's put them in these tie-dye Easter eggs. I'll have some spending cash for spring break. Now for you, I know it looks like an egg, but it's now for you. I know, I haven't sat down with you guys yet today. Like, what am I doing? this greenish tie-dye tint to them. I gotta get you an Easter present. Actually, technically I did. I just bought the dogs, um, those dog puzzles. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Okay. Those doggy treat food puzzles. I just got each of the dogs, two of those. <clears throat> we'll call that their Easter presents. Oops. I put money in eggs for an Easter egg hunt, but they're not gonna be home. So let's do it things a little different this year. four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Okay, let's finish these Easter baskets. Um, all right, so they'll each have 20. 
dollar bill. wanted them to each have two different color dates. Alright, I'm done. I was thinking of adding tissue paper for like some extra flair, but you know what? Sometimes simpler is better. Okay, and then some rain pots. that is it for today we put together our bikini box easter baskets thank you for spending time with me you are strong you are beautiful you are loved you belong and i'm so proud of you i'll see you next time